talking to Alan Walker of Race and Industries. So your business is involved in manufacturing, isn't it? Yeah, we manufacture air conditioning ductwork for the commercial and domestic market. Mm-hmm. So how many people do you currently have employed in your company? There's 50. 50. Well, that's quite a size, isn't it? Yeah. So can I ask, how do you use ART machinery in your factory? ART has supplied us with a plasma cutter and we use it to cut our blanks for um, generating patterns for development um, for manufacturing of ductwork. It's increased uh, our volume of output probably about um, 20%, 30% of what we originally had. So how were you previously doing that job? We had a plasma cutter but it was very old and antiquated. We had a lot of problems with it um, failing, um, couldn't cut properly and that's when we looked on the market for a plasma cutter that'll do the job. What impact has buying the ART machine had on the precision of your product firstly? Uh, the technical side of it has increased dramatically where accuracy has been increased. Um, the cut is far superior than what we would normally have. I, when we first received the machine we actually thought it was cutting equivalent to a laser cutter on some of the plates. So that, that's how good the cut was. Right. How about material handling? I noticed you have a decoiler on your machine. Yeah. I believe a decoiler is suitable for our purposes because yeah. um, when you start using heavy material you need an overhead crane or gantry to lift the material on. Mm -hmm. With our light material on a coil we have a much better saving of scrap material. Mm -hmm. And you're able to nest into different lengths of material yeah. to, to suit the, the application? Yeah, we, we can multi-nest, we can um, cut it on scrap, we can scrap cut. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, yes, it's given us the advantage of being able to utilise a lot more of the material waste. Have you noticed any change in the amount of material that you consume in your production? Yes, I do. I do believe, well, we've actually increased our volume of of manufacturing we've actually cut in a lot more constantly and with less wastage we've basically increased um, oh, our product by 50%. Wow so uh, can I ask about the software that you're using what what type of software do you use to design the parts that you're cutting on the machine? What we've got is PM2000 it's to do with um, ductwork manufacturing and we've been able to grab the, the program and utilize it with the, with yours without any change because we you use the program on our old plasma and it was just a matter of getting the settings to to recognize the plasma and it works tremendously okay from when the machine was first installed how long how long did it take before you're able to start producing product off the machine probably about a, a week um, to two days after that's about nine days all up and we started cutting ourselves confidently because now we've we mastered it we basically can do what we like with it it's, it takes us about 10 minutes to put a program in and um, it's cut in five seconds so it's pretty good excellent so how is the ART plasma keeping up with your production in, in your factory very good very sound machine um, structurally it's very robust I mean I've never seen a plasma bed made as so strong as it is, as this one and the bed itself is very sturdy. Okay. Yeah. Now you said that you have actually increased your productivity, I guess yeah. would be the word, by maybe 50%. Yeah, definitely. Right, well that's, that's quite a, an advantage, isn't it? It is an advantage. Mm. And uh, you also mentioned that the cut quality was, was quite it's good. Very good. Far mm. superior than what we expected from a plasma cutter. Um, plasma cutters are known for just basically um, rough cuts. We've been able to utilise it on our stainless steel where we're able to have the cut and not even clean it with a grinder and sander. So I'm very happy with that. So when you were making the decision about which machine to purchase, uh, what features did you have in mind that, that swayed your decision? It made in Australia. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we needed a, something that was not overseas that we were going to have parts problems, couldn't research you know, consumables. Um, we had this problem where the old machine was from America and we are just getting generic products coming through and then it was one problem after the other. So when we looked, we looked on the internet, we found your product was uh, local and decided that we'd do some more research into that. Okay. So has the machine actually come through with what was promised? Yeah. 
far better than what I expected. I, I thought at the time we would, we'd get a plasma cutter, um, you know, it's basically going to just be like if the old one would be just running it very slowly and that. But this one has actually got a lot more features that we never thought we could be able to utilise with that upward. Um, how did the operator and other staff react to the new machine? Were they nervous or did they have any feelings about it before it came? I, I think they did. They thought that this is a touch screen, you know, we're not going to be able to um, do what we've done in the other one where basically a lot of them not a comp computer skilled. Um, the operator that we've got at the moment, I mean, I wouldn't say he hasn't got computer literacy, but he just maybe stood back and thought, gee, I'm too old for this to start learning new products. And, and this machine machine scared him a little bit, I believe. He didn't come out and say it, but I think he sort of thought, oh, gee, there goes my job, <laughs> because I'm not going to be able to do it. Right. But he did learn it, didn't he? He did learn it. Yeah. And through uh, patience on his, on his side, we were able to, to give him the basics and then he started learning more things than I could show him. And uh, he was about 63 years of age when he learned the machine. That's exactly right. It, it basically proved that the machine is easy enough to operate, but I think anybody can operate that machine without a, a, an issue. Would you have any comments to someone who is perhaps contemplating buying a machine for themselves? Yeah, I'd recommend it. I mean, it's a, it's a good quality product made in Australia, and I mean, I'm pushing the Australian thing, but it is a good product, very well constructed, very easy to operate and recommend it. And if we, if we, had, we had to buy another one, we'd buy two if we went bigger. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm very proud of it.